There's Ranger Suarez making his ninth start of the year. <laughs> Out of video game numbers. Oh, they are on yeah, a lot that's, of levels. That is just unreal, but hey, he's expecting it, so keep continuing. Nemo, though, hits one out to center field, but Rojas cuts across, and he gets it. Oh, and then drops the ball. And Nemo is safe at first base. Uh -huh. Johan Rojas normally so, so sure-handed in center field, and he just flat out dropped that one. At the knees, strike three called right on the inside part of the plate. Alonzo now lifetime 0 for 13 against Ranger. One out here in the first. But he is hit by the pitch, and the Mets have two men on. Two men aboard for J.D. Martinez moved up to the cleanup spot in this reshuffled Mets batting order. Hot shot towards short. Picked on one hop by Sosa. Goes to third. They get the lead runner. I guess once it started taking him to the hole, that was the easiest play to make because he probably wasn't going to turn two. Yeah, I, I don't know if he would have or not because the runners had to freeze, of course. Uh, but the only guy that didn't have to freeze is J.D. Martinez. Now Vientos. First pitch to the right hand hitter lined in the air to left pretty deep. Nobody's going to get this one. It's in for a hit and one hops the wall around the score from second Lindor. Martinez will be held at third. Mark Vientos just called up on at first with an RBI double and the Mets have a one to nothing first inning lead. And as he did in the three games that he was here before he went back down he hit He's come right back up and has hit immediately. And the Mets have second and third with two down for Starling Marte the pitch. Breaking ball hit towards third diving Bohm's got it leaning to his left. He lays out for that one makes the grab and the sides retire. Joe with the Casey who makes his season debut for the Mets. One of the few pitchers in the history of the game. He has his own pitch the curve part curve part changeup. The one two swung out and missed strike three went away with a fastball and real Muto down on strikes so quickly two up two down here in the last of the first inning. Here's Bryce Harper missed yesterday's game because of a migraine out to left field pretty well hit going back is Nimmo back to the wall gone. We are tied up at one. Opposite field home run for Bryce his 10th of the year. Pretty good way to answer. Huh? I tell you what that, that's one thing about this team. It doesn't take them long to to get back in the game. I mean, this is splash landing right here. Pete Alonzo leads off in the third against Ranger Suarez. Call third strike his first time up. And Pete drives one out to left field. Back goes Pache and it's off the wall. Pete will take a turn at first. He's going to try for second and the throw gets by. Scott it's going to roll into foul territory and Alonzo will go all the way to third. So Alonzo aggressively challenging Pache who would have had him with a good throw but the throw was wide got by Stott. And Alonzo winds up with a double and takes third on the air. Well, goes down and gets this change up. And you're right, Gare. Good throw. Perfect throw on line. They nail Pete. Well, Lindor is on for the second time. First walk given up by Suarez. And the Mets have runners at the corners with nobody out for J.D. Martinez. There goes Lindor. And it gets away from Rayo Muto. And here comes Alonzo to score the go-ahead run. Lindor in motion. Ball mishandled by Rayo Muto. And the Mets lead it two to one. Well, the Phillies are haven't woken up. Well, that's going to be a wild pitch. This Real Muto was coming up to make the throw to throw out Lindor, but Lindor got a great jump. And this strenuous third inning for Rangers Suarez continues. So Lindor's at third, Marte at first. A lot of speed. So now Bader, who had an infield hit his first time up. Runner goes from first, pitch is lifted in the air to center field. Rojas is out there and he makes the catch. The inning is over. There was some sloppiness to the inning. Well, a bit of a delay, and Bird Chief Chris Guccione is telling the Casey to hurry up. I think they were expecting the ground crew to come out and do some more work on the mound and home plate. And right. that's what Guccione is trying to find out about. Oh. I think they want to re redo the batter's, the, uh, batter's box. Well, just yeah. go without for a half inning. Not necessary. That Let's go. Box has been obliterated with the uh, the diamond drive that was put down earlier. So one out now, Castellanos, and he takes one the other way for a base hit. Chased toward the line by Marte. Castellanos takes the turn. He's going to try to for two, and Marte gets it there, ten feet ahead of him. Wow. And Castellanos is a dead duck at second base. Well, Castellanos testing the arm of Starling Marte. 
The hardest part of the play was Lindor grabbing the hop with the wet ball because Marte's throw was perfect. Well, it was a poor choice on Castellanos' part here. He had no chance. Stott rolls one for McNeil, and Jeff makes the play, and that retires the side. So Lucchese with a quick inning through just eight pitches. 2 1 New York after four. Oh! Well, the grounds crew has been out. This time they were fully ready, even after an eight pitch half inning. And got oh. the batter's box repainted. Oh, Riamoto just stepped on the line after all that work. <laughs> sort of his job. Here. And the inning is over. Another fairly easy inning for Ranger Suarez. No runs ahead. One man left. We're on to the bottom of the fifth. Back to back walks by Lucchese to start the bottom of the fifth. All right, what do you do, Rojas? I here? think I think you gotta, I I think you gotta let him bunt here. He bunts it left side, and there is no play at third. Everybody is safe. That's beautiful. I don't know if they would have gotten Rojas, but they certainly had no real chance of getting Sosa at third. No, and and Sosa was there so quick he didn't even slide. McNeil was really upset after the play. With the bases loaded, it's three balls and no strikes. Ball four and forces in a run. We've had a lot of that lately. It's a 2-2 game. So now JT Riamuto, still nobody out. Bases loaded. This game now tied. JT lights one into oh. right field, a base hit. A run will score. Rojas stops at third. RBI for JT. He hit it seven in a row. Riamuto comes through and gives the Bills the 3-2 lead. Well, now Bryce Harper, who's coming up with the base, is loaded. He's already got two grand slams this season. Line drive to left center field. That'll be in for a hit. Rojas will score. Here comes Schwarber. Real Muto stops at third. Oh, he's coming home. The throw. He goes through the stop sign. He's out at home plate. Two runs score. The Phillies have a 5-2 lead. Overcoming some wacky mistakes oh, tonight. Man. Sign of, a, it. sign of a good team, isn't it? I guess so. <laughs> well, Harper's got three RBIs tonight. That's it for Lucchese. And the Phillies have the lead. And the Phillies have something working here in the sixth. Here comes Pache. 0 for 1 with a strikeout and a walk. Swing and a bouncing ball. Left side. Vientos had it. Dropped it. Picks it up. Throws to first. It's still in time to get Pache. In to score is Stott. Down to second goes Sosa. A would-be double play ball dropped by Mark Vientos. And it's now six to two, Phillies. Kyle Schwarber got on base three times, and he's already been aboard twice in this game, including a base loaded walk his last time up. Grounds that one toward the right side. Diving stop McNeil from his knee. Shot puts it past Alonzo. Here comes Edmundo. He'll score. Schwarber's aboard. Seven two, Phillies. I mean, technically. I mean, is this going to be an error? They can't give Schwarber a hit. They probably might give him a home book. He's out they're by a mile. They're giving him a hit. It would be a hit and an error. And then an error allowing the run to score. Digs the hole a little deeper and loads him up with one out. Ground ball to short. Lindor bobbles it, and everybody's safe. Another run scores. It's 8-2. to two. The wheels have completely come off. I mean, just they didn't get it out of the glove. Ball center field. That should get Boehm home. Bader's oh, wow, under it. Hope unless he trips. Tonight, the way things are going, yeah, he no could kidding. trip. It's a sacrifice fly. Everybody moves up. Phillies lead it 9 2. Now, when Rojas gets his base hit, two more runs score time. We got the run rule working. I like it. Ouch. Broke his bat, but it might be a knock. Ah, don't tag him. Oh, he could have tagged him. He could have. Run scores. Infield single. 10 2 Phillies. And how this game has just twisted to the Philly side. We go to the eighth inning, and J.D. Martinez leads off against Spencer Turnbull. And Martinez hits one high in the air to deep left field. Pache back. This is going to go, and it is gone for a home run. J.D. Martinez hits a breaking ball over the wall in left field for his second home run as a New York Met. And the Phillies' lead is cut to 10 to 3. Jeff McNeil, who fouled one off his knee last time up and then grounded out to first base. And he drives one to right center field. Rojas cutting across, and he oh, has it go off his glove and roll away. Vientos around third. He'll score. And in at second base with a double is Jeff McNeil. It's now 10 to 4. 
Looked like Rojas was going to make a spectacular play after covering a lot of ground, but the ball clanked off the glove. Two runs are in, and now Tomas Nito. And he hits one toward the middle. That's a base hit. McNeil around third. He's being waved home. And the Mets get a little closer. It's now 10 to 5. Tomas Nito with an RBI single, his second hit of the night. And now Sir Anthony Dominguez will take over. KD grounds one to third. Well, this is a fairly efficient ninth inning. Sir Anthony Dominguez works a one, two, three, ninth inning, and the Phillies have taken three in a row from the New York Mets.